Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and oh my god, what a wild ride. What a wild ride. And even though I've seen several times that, you know, they actually put out two different uh, opening scenes for this particular episode, episode number 16, What If, of, wow, of season four, a really long season, I still can't get over how cool I think this is. It, that's our thing now. That's our thing. <laughs> I love that. That was so great in the beginning. Okay, all that, I think we've all seen most of that stuff. But um, I finally, I, I was like midway through the episode and I finally said, you know what? I'm done. I have to start writing notes. I didn't think this episode was going to be nearly that, especially with how much they already spilled. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be nearly that much involved. But nope. Um, Gemma and 200 S.H.I.E.L.D. agents were killed. All right. That was, um, they finally explained it all towards the end. Um, I was actually able to freeze frame and see what the, um, what that newspaper our article said when Daisy went and did the, uh, Daisy, <laughs> uh, Sky, when, when, uh, Daisy went and, um, used her thumbprint to, on her computer at Hydra base. Um, there was, it was actually an obituary. So, you know, friends and family and sent donations to some medical research center and all sorts of things like that. So that was how they made Fitz the doctor. That's insane. Like they built that up, man. Like the doctor, the doctor, the doctor. That was crazy. And I believe that there were Easter eggs like crazy in this episode. I'm going to get to them as I get there. But um, yeah, the Bahrain incident, that's how they decided to get. We knew that it was going to have something to do with that. That's that was what um, Agent May's pain was. So, wow, what a huge deal that is. That one thing, like you, you want to talk about a butterfly effect. That's like such a great example fictitiously for a butterfly effect. That's the what if. That's the main what if of this episode. What if she didn't fail at Bahrain? Look at what would have happened. You know, so she would have, she would have pulled off that, that little girl would have pulled off an incident. Okay. Uh, not unlike Marvel superhero civil war way back in, what was that? Mm, 2001. Anyway, whatever the heck that was. All right. The superhero civil war, the, the incident at Stamford, Connecticut with the bus blowing up, right? Or you could say in the, uh, the Captain America thing, the Sokovia, uh, incident, right? So where the accords were made, just, it's that one little thing that just, it sets everybody over the top and like we've had enough. And that was it. So all of a sudden, um, Age, uh, Shield was, you know, pretty much out. Hydra, which was already there. Going back to, you know, Captain America Civil War and all that good stuff, uh, they got to come out and just boom, you know, you had a dystopian future, which seems a lot like current politics. Just saying. I'm just saying. I'm also saying I'm not surprised that or I'm surprised those people weren't wearing brown coats very specifically a la Adolf Hitler's brown coats. So, yeah, we got to see uh, Vijay Nadir back and his uh, Terra Genesis hadn't happened yet, apparently. So that was, <laughs> that was cool. We got to see him again. And, uh, yeah, Dr. Fitz, that was a huge reveal. We're all like, you know, oh my God, the doctor, the doctor, the doctor. Yo, they made him look like a poster Nazi boy. That was insane. Uh, speaking of which, that kid, that program, that kid, I kind of hope they do something else with him. First off, I'm old, so he looked like kid from Kid and Play. I don't know if you remember the, the uh, house party and all. He had the big... It was called a Gumby, that, that hairstyle where it just goes straight up. Yeah, he had a Gumby that looked like Kid. Anyway, so yeah, I, I would really like to see them do something else with him some way, somehow, you know? Uh, I would love it if he were more than just a computer program. Or if they could LMD him. They could LMD him because he's a cool kid. I liked, I really genuinely did like him, the little street tagger. Um, yeah, man, freaking uh, Coulson. That was like the biggest, saddest story. Biggest, saddest story. Like, he, he was he, he was reporting kids and allowing this to happen. Just all this crazy stuff. It was insane. Absolutely insane. And then when uh, Gemma found him, I love that that her voice was squeaky. Maybe she had a cold while she was doing that, and it was like a last-minute thing. Uh, Timo Harry just commented on one of my videos. Yes, the artwork does look good, buddy. Um, I'll, I'll have to get to your comment in a moment. I'm sorry, buddy. Um, <laughs> but... That oh my god I I felt so bad because like Coulson is supposed to be the anchor he's the rock he's right he's Saint Peter the rock you know and all of a sudden like when Gemma showed up 
And just she said, Tahiti, it's a magical place. Why did you say that? I was like, oh, my God. Like, my heart broke. My heart broke watching this stupid show. That was only the first and the minor of the two huge reactions that I had while watching this. All right? I'm getting there. They went and they talked about uh, a, a doctor in Winslow that was arrested, freeze-framed. Couldn't see the article. I couldn't actually read the article. Um, what do you call it? So, uh, what they have? They had... Um, Make sure my computer's still running. They had a, a doctor. If 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 they were saying it the way that I expect them to be saying it, Doctor Winslow. Okay, if you remember, that was the name they gave to Calvin Zabo. That's Mister Hyde. That's Daisy's father. You know, um, yeah, that was him. They remember they they did the Tahiti project on him, and uh, you know, so that he didn't have to go to jail or be killed or whatever. So he got to have his mind erased and all that stuff. And bang, they changed his name to Dr. Winslow. He became a veterinarian. So if that's what they were talking about, very cool little Easter egg in there. You know, uh, something happened and he got arrested for his work. Um, I loved that. Uh, the cellist, they showed the cello. You remember that episode, The Cellist? And they had her on there dee -dee, with the, the cello. Um, and the L.A. Quakes. Well, they could, that could be two things. That could be one, uh, Quake is Daisy's name, her, you know, in the Secret Warriors. Um, and, uh, what do you call also the LA earthquakes? Remember that was the, uh, the whole Eli Morrow, Uncle Eli, uh, ghostwriter thing at the very, uh, beginning of this series. Uh, this, excuse me, the series, this season. So it could have been that. Either one works both ways, <laughs> you know? But, um, yeah, the, uh, Oh, when <laughs> when Daisy finally met up with with Sky, and she says, uh, "Daisy met up with Sky." Dear God, I hate that I'm going to start calling her Sky again. <laughs> watch, watch, that's what's going to wind up happening. Anyway, when Daisy met up with Gemma, and she says, "Oh my God, are, were you dead?" So no, no, I'm feeling much better. <laughs> the way she actually said it, it actually sounded like uh, the Sixth Sense. If you remember the girl that was under the dead girl who was under the bed, and she threw up. You know, I'm feeling much better. And wow, that was sad. But uh, yeah, here comes my main thing. When you all of a sudden found out that uh, Agent Ward, all right, was a double agent in this one also, but this time for the side of good, I literally, I jumped back and I threw my hands up to my head so hard, I actually gave myself a headache. I hit my head so hard. <laughs> so I watched the rest of the episode with a headache. <laughs> Whatever, man. I'm, I'll be fine, guys. I'll be fine. And <laughs> it just, we're good. We're, we're, we're good. All right. We're, we're going to quake. But, um, yeah, just absolutely fantastic. Why did I write Daisy? Oh, yeah, because I wrote Daisy at the very end because finally Coulson remembers. Like, he just, she, she, uh, Daisy gives everything she can. And then she just, uh, what do you call it? He's looking at her in the mirror and then just Daisy. And that's how it ends. Oh my God, what a roller coaster. Plus, uh, we saw the, um, for me, it wasn't a big reveal at all that, um, what's her name? Uh, Ada was actually, uh, Madam Hydra. And that's cool. That's cool. There've been lots of Madam Hydras, lots of them before. Viper was one of them. Um, if you saw the, the Wolverine movie, the second Wolverine movie after that crappy origins, the not so, the not as crappy, the Wolverine. Yeah. That chick with the tongue. She didn't have the tongue in the comics. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. Oh my God, this episode was such a great roller coaster. You know, like it, it took a month and I know how much I love Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Having that month off, I don't think was the main catalyst for me reading or watching this and just, you know, completely freaking out, fanboying out. This really was such a good episode. And I can't believe that Ghost Rider is two thirds of the season removed and I'm still like, I, when when I saw that Ward was a good guy in this, I think that I, I freaked out as much as, what was it, episode four of this season when you saw uh, Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider come down and appear. And I was like, you know, oh my God, it's, it's him. I got to start like recording myself watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. from now on just so you get the little reactions that I get. You know what? I think I'm going to start doing that. Don't quote me. Just keep in the back of your mind. Anyway. I, I completely freaked out for that. That was such a great moment. Such a great reveal. Ah, oh, I miss Ward. I really do miss Ward. And I thought there's no way they could ever... I thought this back in like season two. I'm like, there's absolutely no way they can ever bring him back to being Grant Ward from Agent uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. season one. 
and they did it. <laughs> they did it. I like him more now than I ever liked him before. Even when he turned to that hydra, or the, even when he turned into the hive, that was freaky. But oh, looked just like in the comics. But oh man, this was such a great episode, guys. Such a great episode. And uh, yeah, so we should be able to see this next week, also, right? Well, I'm still on March on my calendar, but I know that I switched everything and I already circled. It's like the only thing I do. I don't have my anniversary <laughs> marked on here, but I do have Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. marked for the, 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 the Tuesdays to come. Anyway, guys, I have to get some sleep because tomorrow is brand new comic book day. And that's like the busiest day of the week for me for my channel. So anyway, guys, class dismissed. Yeah. <laughs>